Okay, we're going to put a cord on a brand new electric stove. I'll show you how to do this. We're in an upscale luxury apartment complex. And they buy the uh, top of the line stoves and refrigerators for all their tenants. amp range cord. You can see the instructions here. Thankfully we have a Phillips screwdriver uh, connectors here. So we have to break out this other ring down here. Oh, I really can't move the stove right now. It's only going to take a couple minutes to play. Yes, this is going to be a really nice one. So this goes in like this. And this goes in here. This is the threaded side. Or is this the thing? Okay, this is the uh, threaded side. So this will go in here like this. And this is not threaded. And it goes in here like this. And I have to break more of this thing out down here. this on here like this underneath and put this back in there like it should nope so we are gonna have to fight with the, these little tabs here so I have to grab them on the corner bend them down if I can't break them off I can't break them off I'm just gonna do the best I can do the best I can don't worry about what you can't do. You worry about what you can do. Let's see if that's enough. Okay, is that gonna fit? Okay, that's gonna fit, and, and this is gonna fit. So now we can get our screws out where they are. Here's one. Thank you. 
Doesn't matter which side we put our two live wires on, so we'll take this lug off there. We'll put one. Okay, I'm gonna bring it around so that the flat side goes on the back. That way you get a better connection. Straightened out. This is our neutral ground. We will do that. That's the middle one. Now I'll tighten the clamp up after I get all our connections made. So this is our neutral ground. See, it goes to the white. One hot wire goes to the black. This hot one goes to the red. It doesn't matter which. Hot wire goes to the red or the black because it's 220, 240. Okay, so we'll just double check and make sure we're tight. Okay, now we can tighten our table clamp up here. Okay, I just got to put this cover on. This is all done. Picture's coming out really nice, too. Okay, so we're going to put our cover back on. Okay, so this goes on here. Okay, so that sits up there like this. Get that into that little notch there. Bring it down, we'll get this hole lined up for our screw. Okay, we got a screw right here. And since I don't have a nut guide, I'll just type it right to this here. No, this this did not flat uh, it's not a flathead, it's a nut. Okay, but it, it would have been nice if I had a socket clip. If you don't have one, you don't have one, you know. Okay, here's our other screw. We'll put in our little hole if it goes in here. Loosen this a little bit. Oh, it's not going in, so we'll turn it a little bit more. Way to have a socket set. Okay, so that's got a lot of soldering up to do. Good, and now it's lined up. Never mind, I got it.
I found. I got it. I, because I, I got. I got bit driver bits. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, I have driver bits with me. Oh, okay. I got it. I, I thought you were going to suck. You're going to have to wait, Ron. Okay. Got it. Got it. <laughs> and there it is. Wait for 